Hey all, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video and today a brand new type of event has been released and it's awesome. First off I just wanted to say thank you to Konami for trying something a little bit different. Now this is not a farmable event but it's something we haven't seen before and that's really fun. Something that takes away kind of the grind in the duel for the grind outside of the duel. Because with this event you get cards from completing these tasks and different duels and everything throughout the duels chronicles and you'll get you're guaranteed to get cards if you complete all the tasks and that's awesome and then just because you grind it out and you kept playing after the fact you can get more cards through a lottery type of thing so you don't have to farm in duel you farm you just play and then you'll grind out and get some other prizes afterwards which is I think is awesome same mentality but it adds a little bit of different variants and variety to this game and I like that a lot so why don't we jump in and check out the event page right away because that's probably a good way to start out this discussion about what's going on here. Oh, and I get my daily bonus because uh, it's actually it's been uh, here for 12 hours difference now, so I'm at 15. Now this is pretty cool. Now this is set sail for the kingdom. Now this is really awesome because if you guys didn't know, I'm a pretty big fan of those three original cards and that entire first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! And the second season for sure with my top two Yu-Gi-Oh! seasons of all time for all the different variations. So this event will last until September 10th at 10 p.m. for me. And that gives us like 11 or 12 days of play, which is awesome. So why don't we check out the rewards that we can get from this event first off, because that's probably what you're trying to get. A lot of people aren't just playing for the fun of it, they want to get the cards. So as you can see, we have gems, we have some cards, like the Sword Stalker, very nostalgic from the Duelist Kingdom era. And then, once you have completed, you make it to Pegasus Castle. The final duel in this era is Yugi. And you will be able to unlock Yugi Moto, not Yami Yugi, Yugi Moto as a playable character, which is awesome. Apparently, he has some awesome skills. I think he has Grandpa's cards, what is rumored, which is insane. And that's just another character for me to level up because I'm actually leveling up my final character. Uh, to level 35. All my other characters are at least level 35. So Merrick is just the last one I have to level up and he's at level 22. So when that happens, I'll be out of characters to kind of level up for gem rewards and everything really easily. So I'm happy that uh, Yugi will be here. But then we move on to round two. So round two is the same type of stuff, but in a different way. And it kind of gets, it looks like it's more challenging actually, because it looks like you have 30 gems, you get a super rare, you get multiply, you get dual orbs and then you get a karibo now this is yugi's signature card and it is just like the spirit karibo in the sense you play it from your hand and use this to take zero battle damage from an attack so that's really awesome maybe your opponent goes to otk you and you can use a karibo just like that now would i side this into a competitive deck i don't know because that really just prevent you dying really so you can use this card if you want but i think spirit karibo is still the better choice because it allows you to turn your opponent's monster into defense position as well and that really does stop the battle damage you're about to take and it also gives you a more likely ability to get over the target in the next turn which is why I think Sphere Karibo is still better than this Karibo but this is another option I definitely recommend it if you don't have any Sphere Karibos at all. Alright moving on to round three once again the dual rewards have been upped you get 40 gems in this area another super rare 10,000 gold and you get ah uh, yes that is right a union attack so everybody will be able to get a union attack if they just complete this event which is awesome for me because then I have two union attacks and even if you don't own a union attack prior to this event you can still maybe get one from the card lottery so that you could also possibly get double union attack but now after this I think everybody should have a union attack and I might not do so many gift of the martyr variants of all the builds unless it's a super important farm once again, just another variant of all the stuff, we get Detonating. Detonating is a card for the Karibo archetype. Destroy as many Karibo and Karibo tokens as you control as possible. Then destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of Karibo and Karibo tokens destroyed by this effect. I'm sure there's some last gamble builds or maybe some dual standby builds that allow you to get your Karibos out really easily and then just go for massive destruction and somehow, somehow hit your opponent for lethal. But the card I'm kind of looking at is the Toon Barrel Dragon. Toon Barrel Dragon is another Toon archetype. Not that I think I would ever run this because it requires two tributes. But hey, it's mighty powerful at the destruction effect. And hey, another Toon archetype. I don't mind that at all. And then we move on to round five where the best rewards are. 50 gems, some dual orbs, an ultra rare, 15,000 gold, and then... And then they only have 30 rare orbs. So I thought that was weird. 
for me, because I was like, oh, that's not a very big, not a very big winning there. It's your final duel, round five, right? Like you would expect something a little bit bigger, more grand. So I thought maybe, maybe that's because I already unlocked Pegasus, and that's a way for other players to unlock Pegasus who haven't already unlocked Pegasus. But I haven't found anything online about that. That um, anybody who hasn't unlocked Pegasus may see this as their final to maybe unlock Pegasus just to get them the Pegasus character in case they haven't already gotten it, or for new players who have just started out. So I haven't seen that anywhere online, so I I doubt it is now. But I thought that was that was the first thing that popped into my head. So that's that's a shame if it's not. But hey, if it is, let me know. And then after round five, it just goes for as many rounds up to round ten, and you just get three thousand gold but you can still get all the uh, cards you get from everybody else just like that all right and to my knowledge you can still get drops from fighting people like Pegasus and maybe quite possibly they could drop some tune cards so you might want to farm those people but I'm not too sure about that yet and that's something I have to look into once I make it to there and some other people show up and uh, make some other videos on that but to my knowledge you can still get some drops from people like that like when you fight Pegasus so you might want to use a deck that can farm them a little bit easier. But for right now, uh, let's just start off round one. So we're going to roll the die. And we're just going to check out this event a little bit. So I rolled right on a one. That'd be my luck. So I landed on episode space. Okay. Episode spaces contain Duelist Kingdom episodes. Complete all ten episodes. All right. Exodia lost. On board of the ship to Duelist Kingdom. Hi, Yugi. Ah, the evening's wind sure feel nice. So did you trade any good cards, Yugi? No, I'm going to duel with the cards I brought along with me. I figured as much. You used the Exodia cards to duel with Kaiba, right? Those are the strongest of them all. And really rare. Could I possibly see those legendary cards? I don't see why not. Just be careful with them, okay? Exodia. Ooh! So these cards are to summon Exodia. For a long time I've been trying to think of some kind of strategy to finally beat these cards, but I couldn't come up with anything. Until just this moment, huh? Say goodbye to Exodia! No, you threw them into the ocean! Tee hee hee. Now there's no one who can challenge me. No. How dare you, Weevil! You will pay for the trickery at Duelist Kingdom. I'd love to see you try, tee hee hee. I apologize for my terrible voice acting there. I am still a little bit sick and my voice is perpetually deeper than normal, so I apologize. So I received one die. And this time we get a three, right on. So we should be able to move through all three, but we have to go to each one, so bam. Here's Weevil. I'm pretty sure we have a duel here. Now I read a little bit that you want to use the characters that are in each duel sequence to get extra duel points. So that's why Yugi, I'm using Yami Yugi personally. Uh, with my auto duel deck, which is just a beatdown deck with a whole bunch of enemy controllers and super rush headlongs. So I figured that would be a good way of just uh, going at these guys, because I don't think they have any better drops, just these normal ones right here. Alright, so here we are. Level 40, and you want to get Millennium Coins. Now that's something I didn't really talk about. Millennium Coins is what used for the lottery. I was going to discuss that once we get some. But you want to get coins, and that's for the lottery to get the cards that... Uh, are also available in this event you can roll for them all right now oh no dual rewards section down here so that makes me think that you can't do that now i don't own a summon skull so that's gonna that's not gonna be too great but you get an extra 15 coins for using yami to defeat weevil on run now that's not a lot so if you want to use another deck that's totally cool with another character that's totally awesome so i can't check that or anything all right so and we have to perform three summons in one duel that's no problem so we're gonna make sure we summon three times and we use well, we're already going to use Yami Yugi, so let's duel. Alright, Weevil versus Yami Yugi. Let's do this. Alright, so hopefully in my opening hand we get something in the Dooley Arena Forest. Now here we go. Now this is something a little bit cool. Each area will all start out with this type of forest because we're in the forest zone right now. So for my main phase, obviously I'm just going to summon out the Blazing Apache. Is this the strongest card I have? I'm pretty sure actually Great Angus would get a boost because it's the beast. <laughs> it does. It does, but I didn't realize that fast enough. But we're going to set Super Rush Headlong, and that's fine. I don't think he can get over 1850, I don't think. But we'll, we'll see, just in case. Yeah, it's just going to set a card. Oh, Insect Imitation. I had spoken too soon. So now he definitely has a card that's stronger than mine. But we're going to let him attack and do it. Oh, even better. Use up all your hand resources, Weevil. Even better. All right, and Super Rush Headlong.
And of course, we're going to choose the attribute. Now, the reason why I don't do live duels with you guys, which I'm going to discuss right now, is I play on my phone, and I play on my phone because that's where I get the most satisfaction. I can take it everywhere I want to go. I can do everything I want with my phone. It, it, it makes me happier, and I really do get the full enjoyment of the game when I play. You know, on my own, I can take it wherever I want. Just that sort of thing. I can listen to music and everything. And just kind of escape the world and play some Duel Links whenever I so choose. Which is why I don't want to put it on my computer, on my desktop, and then have no problems recording or anything like that. But when I do play this game on my phone, it's very difficult for me to record it because the audio does not sync up with the video a lot of the time. It almost never does. So thus resulting in me having a very hard time commentating on duels just like this and resulting in me having a very hard time editing to make that kind of look half decent in the recording scheme so that's why i don't really do live duels i have a really hard time with that um, i'm looking for better solutions uh hopefully i can just behind a better recorder or i could make eventually upgrade my phone to one that has a better recording system in it uh, I know the Samsungs do really well with that, or iPhones also do really well with that, but the phone I currently have right now has a really hard time uh, managing recordings. It also runs Android L, which is Lollipop, which is 5.0, uh, and that's the best I can kind of do. But there we go, that's a win, and here we are. Tee hee hee, Yugi is down for the count. Hehe. <laughs> Stop that, Snickering, why are you so happy? Because I have the mighty Summon Skull! Big deal, you must be losing it. Your monster is strong, but not as strong as mine. There's something you overlooked, Weevil. I play mock you to dampen this entire field. What? You still haven't figured it out? Oh no, everything's wet. That's right, soaked by mock you's magical mist. There's a lightning rod for my summon skull. All your monsters will be destroyed. Lightning strike! My insects have been exterminated. No! You call yourself a champion, but you've only won your duels through lying and cheating. True champions play with honor. You should think about that during your trip off this island. Alright, so we got two of the checks there. Awesome. We received 30 Millennium Coin plus the 150 for beating level 40. And there we are. So as far as I'm going to go through in-game commentary and taking you guys along the venture with me for right now. I might do some farm videos or some update videos on this event as it goes on. But for now, I think I'm just going to play this game and enjoy it myself because man alive it's gonna be a really challenging episode to edit um to try and cut the audio and sync it up properly with what's going on in the game so wish me luck for that i hope this turns out really well for you guys i had a really great time playing this event and showcasing what this has to offer but before we go i wanted to actually just toss some toss some luck into this so we're gonna use the lottery and we're gonna draw six draw six uh well prizes i guess so glory the king's hand. Also, I have that on my YouTube banner. So look at that, we did get a rare. And we also got some keys. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what, oh, here we go. So we got a thousand gold, not bad. We got five, five, just normal gay keys, from, uh, white keys for Harvard Kaiba, some five gems. And we got the detonating card. We got it before we even had to complete this gate. Hey, that's glossy. Wow, look at that, that's awesome. That's cool. So that's that's kind of what you're hoping for. You can still get a super rare and everything. Let's look at the lottery award list right now. We can just kind of quickly just check that out together. So these are all the cards you guys can get, which is pretty cool. I think about the only thing I'd really like to get is the union attack, the second union attack, and then some gems would also be nice. And then all the keys are available as well. And then maybe a second Kribo would be really awesome as well. Oh, and the horn of the unicorn. I don't think you can obtain that any other way. So I like to get that. Alright, so I'm sure there will be an update with more of this event stuff in the future, in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed watching, hope to catch you in the next one, and as always, peace.